Hey everyone. Um, today we are going to look at conditional statements in um, in this new next rank video. So this again is a challenge from Hacker Rank, and in my last tutorials or um, problem solving videos, uh, we looked at input and outputs in C++. But today we are going to be working with uh, conditional statements, which if you know a bit about uh, programming, you will know that uh, they are all or they are mainly about if and else statements. So what we have to do um, in today is uh, we have to receive an, an input a number from the user and then um, if the number is between 1 and 9 then we have to print out or spell out the, the number on the screen um, but if it's greater than 9 then we have to print greater than 9 right so they have some examples here um, if the, the uh, input is 5 then it will print 5 if it's um, 8 it will print this 8 if it's um, uh, 44 then it will print greater than 9 but we also have this uh, constraint that the number needs to be between 1 and uh, I believe 1 billion 10 to the power of 9 so normally for such a, such a problem I, I prefer to use switch statements and uh, this is from W3 schools uh, they give an examples here I think it's cleaner to write it that way but uh, for for this uh, hacker rank challenge they want us to use if and else if and else so that's what we're going to do here so I'm going to go down here. Um, what they have, uh, they, they have some basic code for us. Uh, so we have an integer variable n, um, then c in n, which means we are uh, reading input from the stream, accepting inputs, which is going to be uh, a number that we store in n. And then uh, we ignore the rest of the characters um, you know, until the user presses enter. So uh, in between here, the first thing that we need to do is uh, the very first constraints. If the number is between um, one and one and one billion so let's start here if n is already uh, declared here so i just have to say if n is um greater or equal to one and n also has to be less than or equal to now i want to instead of uh, writing uh, one billion i want to use the math function uh power function so for exponents i'm going to type include and then here i'm going to type c math okay, and then from here I can uh, add how well, the first thing is the number that we want to raise to the power of nine in this case. All right. So next, uh, this code will only run whatever I write in here will only run if this evaluates to true. Right. Um, now it's giving me uh, a warning. I think that warning will disappear. Let's let's see. The next thing is if um, n is between one and nine. Now we don't need to repeat. Um, the, the condition for one again because we already have it here. So if n is uh, less than or equal to nine, then in this case, we want to check if n equals one. We want to see out the English spelling for that number, which is going to be one. And then we end line here. Okay, so now I'm going to do something similar for the number two, but this time around we have to use else if. That is the second condition. Right, and then we specify here it's going to be two. And I can copy this here and say if it's three, then I'm going to do the same thing again. Right, if the number is three, then I'm going to type in three, and uh, you, you get the idea right now. If um, you think this is a bit repetitive or boring, um, maybe you can skip that part of the video. I'm not going to edit it out. I'm, I'm just going to leave it. You know, um, I just want you guys, you know, to feel like I'm coding with you. You might be new to this, so you know. Um, I, I just feel it's best for me to, to keep it that way. I don't know why I have these extra uh, brackets, anyway. Five. Now again, like I said, uh, switch statements are definitely the way to go. They are not a rule, you know, but um, it's it's easier than having all these as if. It makes the code longer than it really has to be because this is a very basic example. You know, if you have like, um, I don't know, maybe 20 conditions, I, I find it's like overkill, you know. Eight, I think this is how you spell eight. And then um, nine. All right, so this is going to be the last as if. In fact, um, you can add as if equals nine, or you could simply add else, because then if it's not equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
then it's definitely going to be equal to this, right? If the, the code is running from here, it has entered this condition, then it's it's automatically nine. So here I don't need to add or specify if n is equal to nine. So I can just leave it that way. And then now you see this here, if n is less than or equal to nine, we're going to add an s statement to that condition. So I'm going to say else, else if, just else. It means the number is greater than nine. And in this case, uh, we're going to output greater than nine. I think this is what they want us to write. Let's double check. Right? Uh, greater than nine. Yeah, correct. So again, you can see uh, the uh, the warning that we had here has disappeared because I have this header file in here. Now, this is too much space here. Let me... All right, so I think we can now uh, run our code. Let's see what it says. And then we're going to test it out with some custom inputs to see if the, um, you know, uh, between one and one billion condition is working. So yeah, we've passed all the tests. We are printing exactly what it is expecting. But uh, let's check with some custom uh, input. If it's zero, what does it say? Now, nothing is supposed to get printed normally. Yeah, no response from SED out. And that is because we haven't specified an S statement to this thing right here. So this whole code that I've written will only run if the number is between one and uh, one billion, right, inclusive. And let's check if it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One billion should print, should print greater than nine, I believe. But uh, you will see that, yeah, one billion and one will not print anything. If that code passes, then uh, that's it. We, we've just passed it as exactly correct. So um, this is just a quick, you can see this is a quick um, practice or revision for conditional statements. In the next uh, video, we're going to look possibly at a slightly more complicated uh, C++ challenge on HackerRank. If you like this video, please make sure you subscribe, uh, turn on your notifications. I'll catch you next time. Bye.